welcome to another episode of Gallery Watch. Today we are here in Fremantle at the Kidogo Art Gallery. The exhibition title is Eclectic Energy. I can see the eclectic composition of the artworks of the seven artists. I couldn't feel the energy yet, but that's why we're here to find out how this eclectic exhibition is, gives us some extra energy in life. This is Barbara, who is the curator of our exhibition today, The Eclectic Energy. Barbara, how do you got this idea, you know, where you got it from, Eclectic Energy? I think for myself, being an artist and having a body of work that has developed over five years, it was time to show that to the public because I could see it growing and I came to a space where I thought, I'd like to actually collaborate with other artists and celebrate culture and creativity. So I contacted a few friends that have worked for me and um, that's at an Islamic school in Perth in which I managed the art department and set up an artist in residence program. So a number of the artists tonight have been a part of that and we are now doing our own individual show rather than teaching others art. I actually worked with uh, Barbara Douglas uh, teaching at the Islamic College in uh, Langford and I was teaching art while she was doing her masters and she asked me to come here and exhibit, which I have not exhibited for 30 years since I was pregnant with my first child. It should be Lisa Eclectic, not Lisa Pensabini. Like, we just want to keep the energy up, keep the vibe going, get people interested in coming down having shows, because, you know, artists at the end of the day, we're almost an endangered species. Hotel Andreas. Butter like the butter, they go, they say to me, you know, it's very smooth. Apart from that, you are one of the artists of the exhibitors in the Eclectic Energy exhibition. Yes, I am the stone sculptor by trade. I did an apprenticeship in Germany as a stone sculptor. I did mainly headstones. It's a big culture in Germany. And how long you are in Fremantle? Yes, we migrated 17 years ago to Australia, to Perth. Traveled before, seen the world, came back to Germany and couldn't settle anymore and decided to get some paperwork done and become permanent residents for in Australia. It's all recycled stone most of the time. I get pieces, I get ideas from nature, life and then I just transform them into art pieces. So how do you like the Australian stones? They are good quality? Yeah, they're really good quality. I like uh, especially the Donnybrook sandstone. It's a local stone. I like the limestone. How many pieces you made for this exhibition? I made, I think, seven or eight pieces. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? My favorite is maybe the last one, what I did for this exhibition. That's the table in the corner there. The it's called Connection, yeah, it's kind of a table and it resembles the body, you know, the points, the head, shoulders and the bum and all the, the lines as well. There are lines, I love lines. Yeah. I'm 56 now and I've been painting since I was four. So this is my first exhibition for 30 years. And previous to that, I curated a show called The West Wind at the Robert Holmes Court Gallery uh, in Northbridge. And I curated it and exhibited some works in there. So this is my first show in a group show supporting Barbara Douglas. The work that you see in front of you is Popeye, which actually reflects, uh, and so it's called Popeye Ode to My Father. And uh, my father was uh, working for State Shipping Service for 31 years. He's now 90 years old. And he used to pop up his guns and show that he was big and strong by eating his spinach. And it's quite apt that he is here tonight. And I did this work, which came from chaos into 
uh, an image. It's called Mother, Sleepless Mother and Baby, which is very much typical of a baby sucking the very life out of a mother and I have a daughter who was born with congenital heart disease and has a pacemaker and she didn't sleep for two years and so when I see mothers now I really relate to those early days 30 years ago of Bella barely living myself barely living so, so you got your daughter here you got your my father daughter, here my father's here my mother's here my son is here I'm blessed, I'm happy. I know I really like to like roll around in the colours. I like to roll around in the in the in the glueiness of, of the material and the medium and the stories that come to me, they, they talk to me. Yeah, sure. I don't I don't do it. Something else does it. And my skill as an artist is still in its infancy. I am no perfect drawer, I am no genius, for, but I know that the colours and the experience, and I don't normally share my work, not at all. Like these are my Except babies. Except today. Except well, today. I'm, I'm prepared to let them go. The ones that I put on the higher prices, I'm not prepared to let go yet. If they if they really like it, I don't think money is enough to to let them go. But I hope they go to good good families or good homes or people can actually learn from the stories. You know, yeah, yeah. But I'm letting go now. I'm letting go. John, the title of the exhibition is Eclectic Energy. Yes. I can see the eclectism in here because it's seven different artists. Yes. Not even all of them here at present, but the artworks are here. Yes. So where the energy is coming from? Well, eclecticism means to have different ways of expression in the natural environment, the ecology, the ecosystems have all many many different ways webs and interconnections and the functioning of all the connections is what gives the, the the strength and viability to it all so something along those lines that the eclecticism will make the the sum of the parts is only so much but uh, that they're all interconnected means that things that have a much greater strength than they would just in, in individual parts. So John, which part is the best for you in this exhibition? Which one you like most? Uh, okay. Uh, the, all the, the natural, the things showing nature. Uh, yeah, the, the ocean, the flora, the beautiful um, things that are below the paintings on the floor all those sort of things and the the piece of piece of granite with the water in it over there which is the table yeah yeah it's it's very much like something you could find in nature although some more straight lines than you would find in nature it's you can find things like that in the the hills and the wheat belt so it's a, a nice representing the natural environment in a in a studio in an art studio the artist told us that table is represents our connectivity. Yeah, yeah. Do you agree with this? Yes, yes, yes. It's vital. Yeah, it has a lot of energy. Yeah. Here we got one of Fremantle's legend. He is an artist. He is a sculptor, and he made lots of things for Fremantle and for other places. So, Greg, how long you are involved in Fremantle with art? As a full-time professional studio for 30 years. It was the 30 years eclectic? Eclectic, it was interesting. <laughs> because it's today's, tonight's exhibition is eclectic energy. Yeah, this is great, it's great, it's great energy. Lots of, lots of different stuff. Uh, yeah. Different style. Yeah, absolutely. And it's great seeing them all getting work out, people come and see it, it's a good turnout. It's what we need, a bit of support for local artists. We all a little art community in Fremantle and yeah, it just worked out. I'm really thankful to be here and yeah, I love it. I think we've had a focus on 
ecology being my second field area. Because of the love of land, love of sustainability and just trying to communicate to the audience a consciousness of considering the materials that we are choosing to consume and trying to inform the community about upcycling. Um, so perhaps seeing creatively what you can do with something and if you really do need it to consider those reflections rather than just consume, consume because it's really adding to global warming when what we want to do is actually nurture the earth. So all of us artists today in Eclectic Energy have come together with that concept from myself thinking we all have an organic line within our work. It's quite figurative in some way because it's relating so much to nature. Please stay with us because after the short break we're coming back with more gallery watch from the Kidogo Art Gallery on the Eclectic Energy Exhibition.